Good evening. We've all been dumped. I mean, who hasn't, right? But it's the one way one man reacted and turned against his ex that's proven to be costly. Tonight, the story of an expensive lesson. This story begins with a young woman, an aspiring model, who posed for nude photos, thinking they would remain relatively obscured and within her control. Mistake number one. But that's only a small part of this. An ex-boyfriend, who you'll hear from later, and I promise you won't want to miss him, he's accused of posing as the woman to obtain the photos from the photographer who took them. The boyfriend, who we aren't naming to protect the victim, is accused of posting the photos on a revenge porn website, a site used by the jilted to publicly humiliate an ex. It was horrific. Uh, my client uh, was subjected to incredible emotional torment. The woman's attorney going as far as contacting Google to learn who was behind the public shaming. And at that point, I knew exactly who was behind it. When the ex was identified, they filed a civil suit, the first of its kind in Michigan. The ex never responding, so no trial. He ignored my motion for default judgment. He didn't show up for the hearing. Uh, he just thought that he could bury his head in the sand. The judge granted a default judgment for the victim in the amount of a half million dollars. Now, that ex has no choice but to appear and face the music. I caught up with him outside the courthouse, and he began a crude tirade. Suck my Is that how you want to talk to the camera? I mean, I could say suck my Is it appropriate to finagle your way into getting some nude photos of an ex-girlfriend and try to share them? Suck my d a few moments later, the man stopped and apologized for his behavior towards us. I'm sorry I came off harsh. But not for what he's accused of doing. I don't care about her. I don't even think of her. A woman I haven't talked to in almost a decade decides to sue me. He says he couldn't defend himself against the accusations because he couldn't afford an attorney. I got served with the papers originally, so I figured I'll talk to a lawyer. Lowest price I can get quoted is $10,000. I can't defend myself. I don't have $10,000. He then accepted his fate. If you the courts find you guilty, you're guilty. I get that. That's fine. I regret that I'm poor. He said his ex won't find any money to satisfy that judgment, but the woman's attorney counters. I believe that anybody's collectible if you try hard enough. That includes garnishing wages and tax refunds. One thing's for sure, this ex isn't going down quietly. Share him. As for that judgment in the amount of a half million dollars, well, I'm told it's good for 10 years. So the defendant here has plenty of time to pay and plenty of time to think about his actions. Thanks for having me tonight. I'm Nimusha Faye, 7 Action News.